One of the most basic things you can do with a Raspberry Pi is of course to connect an LED to it. So in this recipe, that's what we're going to do using uh, some solderless breadboard. So if we start having a look at what we've got here, uh, we've got the solderless breadboard and we've got the Raspberry Pi. We've um, got a couple of male to female jumper leads that we're going to use to wire everything up. And what we're going to do is start by putting the components into the breadboard. This is the LED, and you'll notice that the LED has one longer lead and one shorter lead. The, uh, the longer lead is the positive lead. So let's pop that towards the top of the board, and it doesn't matter exactly what row you put these on, just so long as the two pins are in uh, adjacent rows. Okay, we then need to connect up a resistor. You will sometimes see people connecting a, an LED directly to uh, the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. This is actually a very bad idea. Um, you'll find that you could easily damage the GPIO port on the Raspberry Pi. It might stop working completely. Um, so it is much better. You really need to use uh, a resistor. This is a 470 ohm resistor, and that's kind of a good choice to use. It'll pretty much work with any kind of LED that you want to connect to the Raspberry Pi. It'll limit the current so that the LED is visible without it drawing so much current that it damages anything. So this is going to go from the top pin of the LED up to the top row like that. OK, so that's the components attached to the breadboard. What we need to do now is to connect those up to the Raspberry Pi. So let's start with, um, we'll pick a blue lead. It's, it, there's a bit of a convention to kind of use blue leads for negative and ground connections and to use red leads for positive connections and for sort of kind of data connections, for connections that aren't either positive or negative. You tend to use leads that are orange or yellow or some other color. So let's start with the, the ground connection. And that's going to go from the row that's connected to the bottom of the LED. And that's going to connect to one of the connections on here that says ground. It doesn't actually matter which one, but we'll pick that one down, which is the third one down on the right-hand side of the GPIO connector. Let's now connect the other connection. This is going to go from the top row of the breadboard, which is connected to the resistor and it's going to connect to the GPIO pin 18. So if we just get that on there. OK. So what we've got here is, if you imagine how the electricity is going to flow, when we turn GPIO pin on, we're going to get a current flowing through this orange lead into the resistor, out of the resistor, through the LED, and then this ground lead takes the flow of current back to the ground connection of the Raspberry Pi. So that's now all our hardware set up. Now what we need to do is switch over to using the computer and uh, start typing some commands so that we can turn that LED on and off. Now on the computer, we're connected to the Raspberry Pi using a terminal session with secure socket. So we can type commands from the convenience of our regular computer connected to the Raspberry Pi. So the first thing we're going to do is start Python. But we're going to start Python as a super user because uh, regular users don't have access to the GPIO pins, so you need to run Python as using sudo in front of it. Here we are connected up to Python. So the first thing we need to do is import the rpi.gpio library that allows us to uh, make uh, allows us to interface to the hardware. So we need to do import rpi.gpio, and this is case sensitive and we'll import it as GPIO. Okay. The next thing we need to do is set the GPIO mode. There are actually two modes for how you name the pins on the Raspberry Pi, and it's almost a historical accident, really, that there are these two modes. Pretty much everybody uses the, the mode called Broadcom, or B BCM, but for compatibility, the library includes that, and you still have to do the step of setting it to be uh, Broadcom. So GPIO set mode, and then we need to do GPIO.bcm for Broadcom. Now we need to say that pin 18 is going to be used as an output. 
set up. And we then specify the pin, so it's pin 18, comma, and then we want it to be an output, so we do GPIO dot out. So the next step is actually going to be turning the output on so that we can actually see the LED turn on. And then we do output. Again, we specify the pin number. And now we say whether we want it to be true or false. So true means on, 3 volts. False means off, 0 volts. And at the moment, the LED was off, so we'll do 18 true. And when we hit return, there we go. We see that the LED has turned on. So now let's turn the LED back off again, just to prove it wasn't a fluke. So when you're in the Python command line, you can just hit the up and down arrow keys to go to your previous commands. It says having to type everything over again. So this time we'll set it to false, hit return, and there we go, the LED's turned off. So that's how we uh, connect up an LED to a Raspberry Pi.